Hey everybody, it's Tony George. Sorry about our first video day. We had a technical difficulty. As you can see, I'm coming to you from the isolation chamber, uh, the situation room, the bunker, the echo chamber here, 47 floors below my kitchen in Las Vegas. I'm getting some remodeling done in the next room and a house full of family. It's a little chaotic here. And apparently something went haywire this morning. We're going to get to your free play in the Duke Florida State game. Quickly here, of course, DocSports.com, place to be. There's a link in the description below. Thumbs up, subscribe, please. And go ahead and get yourself a free 60 bucks from us. And use it on the website wherever you want to. Um, passing on college basketball, they did not have a good weekend in college basketball. Very disappointing weekend. I'm taking a step back. Already working on my Tuesday card today. So a pass in college basketball will gain some units back here in the next couple of days. NBA 12-3, uh, and three, great record, but back-to-back -back losses. So, And uh, the NHL, uh, we have a three-unit pick in the NHL. We have a nice little four-unit underdog tonight in the NBA at DocSports.com. And uh, got to get to rolling here. Somebody asked me, many people asked me, I was out and about in downtown Las Vegas and on the strip this week with family in town. And, you know, uh, you get recognized doing these videos and being in this business 28 years, having a national radio show. And a lot of guys rolled up on me out of nowhere saying, why aren't you putting out XFL? Uh, well, I wanted to do what everybody else did. I wanted to digest it. I wanted to take a look at the product, see what they got. And I got to tell you, um, I'm not going to handicap it out of the gate because I didn't know enough about it in terms of, the rosters, you know, seeing how things fell together, you know, for each team individual. I watched a lot of those games this weekend. I got to tell you, I was impressed. You know, the difference between a 53-man roster and a 73- or 80-man roster, which is what they start out with in, in, in fall camp, the difference between the players making it and not making it, in many cases, are just like that. And those players have trickled over into the XFL, and they're putting out a good product on the field. I thought it was marketed well. I thought it was presented well. I thought the games uh, were, you know, for a first game out of the gate type thing, were very competitive and entertaining. Uh, I like the full access aspect of it, interviewing players on the sideline during the game, uh, being able to talk to coaches, being able to listen to the play calling, some of the strategy involved. And I like the game itself and some of the rule changes. I like the one foot inbounds for catches. I think the... Uh, Going from the one, five, or ten yard line and getting one point, you know, two point or three point after a touchdown and not being able to kick a field goal, but using that uh, strategy in order to put points on the board or not put points on the board offers a very different dynamic and maybe even a tough handicap, you know, down the road because fall numbers aren't going to be the same as they are in the NFL. The three, six, seven, ten, thirteen, those type of scenarios. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I thought it was uh, very well done, very well broadcast. I think it's a neat product, and I think it fills a void for a lot of people that have football hangovers after the NFL. And uh, I'll look forward to handicap. I have a few guys that are very deep into that that I talk to uh, for other sports on a daily basis. They did fairly well gambling with it this weekend. I'm not um, comfortable enough to put it out yet as a product. There are some guys over at Docs that are doing it, so check out Docs' website coming up next weekend. There's handicappers, including Doc Sports themselves, and I know uh, that they are uh, excited about doing it. And it's a nice little uh, void to fill for your football fix. It probably runs through May. You know, so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that down the road. That's the answer to your question. But I'm observing it greatly because I love football, love watching football, love betting football. Uh, let's get to your free play today. That's why you're here. I, we talked about the Duke-Florida uh, State game. I just checked the lines here at 12, a little after noon Pacific time. Uh, it's still 8 and 148 and a half in favor of Duke. Um, I look at this. This is one of the better games uh, of the season. It really is. And Duke's laying a big number. They're off a huge game 48 hours ago, an overtime game where they grabbed victory from the Jaws of defeat after basically getting dominated for all but about two minutes of the game. And now they're taking on a Florida State team, which is 70% straight up on the road this year, uh, that I have power rated. And I wrote it down somewhere. Hang on a second. I had notes from my earlier video. 
I have Duke Power rated at 110.4 and Florida State at 102.7. That's an eight-point difference. The spread is eight points. It's right on the number. Now, you got to give a little love for Cameron Indoor Arena and Duke playing at home, this, that, and the other. But uh, I always like the fate teams, um, often overtime win or overtime loss even in some cases. Um, and I think this is going to be a very – I think it's going to be an awesome ball game. If you uh, are a college basketball fan and don't watch this, you're silly. It's going to be one of the better games probably you've seen all weekend and maybe for the next week or so. Um, I've got, um, obviously, Duke uh, a couple of points, power power rating points higher in the ACC than I do Louisville, although they looked like dog crap the other night for basically the entire game. Sloppy in overtime and still won because North Carolina just fell apart. But at the end of the day, um, I think Florida State's play here. I think they've got a very good basketball team. And the one thing, a couple of things um, I like about them, they match up probably as well with Duke as any team in the ACC. They got some bigs that can dominate that might have a, a that will have a small advantage tonight. Some easy put back points. I think it's going to be a fast paced game and both teams can put points up. And I think Florida State can hang around. You know, and the other thing when we talked about, you know, North, uh, Duke off that North Carolina game, the small fatigue factor maybe with a game like that, you know, although Florida played, Florida State played, and they're traveling all that, but Florida State has an extremely deep bench, and I think that's an advantage for them in this game. All that being said, do I think Florida State goes in there and knocks them off? It's not unlikely. You saw some insane results this weekend. I was the recipient of a couple of them for sure. But you saw some insane results and some teams not showing up and other teams that score in 58 a game to score 81 out of nowhere out of left field. I mean, just crazy, crazy things, which I told you to expect this weekend, and I still got stung. But at the end of the day here, I think Florida State gives them all they want and then some here tonight, and they will not go quietly in the night. They're sure they're not going to lay down because they're playing Duke at Duke. Take Florida State plus your eight.